Hey everybody, it's Lynette Chandler from Tech Based Marketing and you are watching our Kickstart WP series. And in this particular module, I'm going to teach you how to create repeatable landing pages. And what do I mean by repeatable landing pages? Basically, they are landing pages that you create the layout to once and you can very quickly duplicate them every single time. Now, why do we want to do this? We want to do this because, you know, who wants to spend a lot of time creating stuff? Second thing is the more time you take to create a landing page, to create an opt-in, the less enthusiastic you will be about it. So um, getting stuff out there quickly is super, super important. And the third thing is consistency is very, very good, especially on your web pages. So, you know, rather than having thousands of templates and you choose from every single time you want to create a landing page, you know, you go through these thousands and hundreds of landing pages to find one. That's a waste of time. Even if you spend 15 minutes doing it, uh, it's 15 minutes too many. So what I like to do is create a template. And frankly, I sometimes may create more than one but a handful of them, maybe up to five different templates that I like with just different layouts, but where the colors are the same to my brand, uh, they fit my brand and the design and everything kind of gels with my brand. So that's what I'm going to teach you to do. And I'm going to teach you to do it really quickly and really fast. Now, what are tools I'm going to use for this? You will see on my screen here, uh, the plugins I'm using. It's Beaver Builder Pro. I do think that there is a trial version in the WordPress repository, but you won't be able to use uh, all the modules that I, I'm showing you here. But if you, uh, uh, you want to take a look at it, you can definitely go search for it in, in the WordPress.org. In fact, you know what? Let's just go ahead and double check it because I'm pretty sure that there is one there. Uh, right there, Beaver Builder WordPress page builder. So you can go ahead and try it out. If you like it, uh, you can get it. And uh, if you want to support me, that would be great. My affiliate link is lynettesuggest.com slash beaver. Now, the other plugin I'm using here is called Genesis Dam Buster. Uh, it is free and you don't necessarily need it, but I am needing it because I'm using Genesis theme. Now Beaver does have its own theme, but in order to use their theme, you would have to go for their uh, higher option. So I know not everybody wants to spend a ton of money and you don't need to. You can use Beaver with any theme that you prefer. And I generally prefer StudioPress. So I have Genesis Dam Buster. And of course, uh, since I am using Genesis Dam Buster, it is quite apparent that I'm using a StudioPress theme. So right here, I'm using Ambience Pro. It really doesn't matter which one of the StudioPress themes you're using. Um, whichever one, it works very well with uh, the StudioPress themes. So you can rest assured you won't really have, you won't have a lot of problems. It's a solid combination. All right, so let's get started. Now, I like to create my landing pages uh, using pages. Well, why? Because to me, I still subscribe to the old method uh, where WordPress has been all along. Pages are static content and you know blog posts are posts. So usually my landing pages and my thank you pages, they're all pages because these are things that don't change that much. I have created a page right here. So I'm gonna click on that. Of course, you can start a new one. And I just wanna show you right at the bottom here when I scroll down, uh, I have enabled this Genesis Dam Buster. Now, why do I do that? So let me uncheck that and update that to show you why I need to do that. So if I go to preview the site, you will see that the site is empty and it is based on Genesis landing page. Now, if I click on page builder, which is Beaver Builder, and I say I want a landing page content, let's just do that. 
then do you see what's happening here? It's not pretty. It, it doesn't work like what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to to reside full page. You know, it doesn't. It shouldn't have all this stuff here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out this blank, blank out the template. And that's the other thing nice about Beaver. I can just absolutely clear out if I want to start all over. So that's lovely. Um, I need to exit out of here first, easily just discard changes. And I go back to edit page and scroll back down here and enable the dam buster. And now what I have, if I go to page, is a blank canvas. So from here, I just click page builder to launch Beaver. And uh, Beaver comes with a number of landing pages, as you can see here. So now let me just do this for, to show you the effect again. See how that works? So that's what Dan Buster does. But I don't want to use one of their uh, themes. Of course, you can use their templates. Uh, that's that's the whole idea <laughs> uh, for, of them building this so you can get started quickly as well. But, you know, I'm pretty picky on things. And a lot of times uh, I could start with one of these, really, but I already have a design in mind. So I want to show you also how quickly it is to just build a landing page based on your exact specifications very, very quickly. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a header row. And I'm going to click on Add Content, go to Basic Modules, and this header row, uh, you know what, I'm just going to start with a basic row, just a one column full width row. And I'm going to configure this row, I'm going to make it full width, and uh, I'm going to make the text color white in them because, and there's a reason I'm doing that, because I'm gonna add a picture to this right here. And I'm gonna show you col color presets later on. So for right now, that, uh, that text color will be just fine. I'm scrolling down, and right here is the one thing I wanna set. The background, I'm gonna choose a photo, and it's gonna ask me which photo, I'm gonna select it, and this is the photo that I have selected or I have created just for my background. And yep, I think that's it. I'm going to save it. Now I have a background photo. Let's just go ahead and continue building here. I'm going to next put a heading. So as we mentioned before, we are going to build an opt-in page, a landing page. And I'm going to assume you already have your opt-in freebie, your lead magnet already created, ready to go. If you don't, uh, what I suggest for you to do is you can use private label content. As I'm going to do here for demo purposes, I have a number of actually a package here. I have this bundle that I purchased, I believe, from DIY PLR that has yeah, like four different things in here, four different uh, reports and resources in here already created for me. And what's nice about this particular bundle is also they also come with an opt-in page. Now this is the example opt-in page. It gives you a HTML code that you can copy and paste to make the pages too. So I don't really have to do a special landing page like I'm doing now. But I like my landing pages to be nice, um, to be unique, and to be modern. So what I'm going to use here is the uh, copy. Having this copy here is very, very helpful because it saves you from writing from scratch. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to basically build my landing page with the copy that is given for me. And if I need to, I'll come back and edit it to improve conversions and so on and so forth, right? This the whole key here is to make your opt-ins fast and uh, get it out quickly, right? Okay, so the first thing I want to do here is create a heading, which I did. I added this heading content. And now what I'm going to do is just copy and paste this particular uh, section for the heading. Because there's three here and it doesn't really fit all in there. So I'm going to paste that in here. Again, you can always edit this. Uh, if you want to, you can tweak it just to make the headline stronger and so on and forth. 
So I'm going to do that in, let's see here, I'm going to save it for now and we'll see what happens. Okay, so not quite what I expected, let's do some tweaking here. First thing I want to do is I want to make the align center and I want to make it larger. Let's do an H1 heading because I like my main titles to be H1. And let's see, let's move this a little bit here. I also want it to break properly. I want to break it right here. So I'm going to head back to this general tab and I'm just going to enter BR. That's the HTML tag for break. And I'm going to change that as a capital. Wonderful. So that is just perfect how I want it. Next thing I'm going to add right here is a little text editor. I actually could use a header too, but because I have quite a bit of text here, I'll just use text editor. And I'm going to use this session, this section as the subheading right there. I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to break this right here in the center. And I'm going to center that part. Wonderful. The only thing right now I want to do is make the space between these two headings a little smaller so I can do either the top or the bottom I'm just gonna hit for the top one and change the bottom margin to zero and save so that's perfect that's exactly how I envision it to be next thing I want to do is I want to add an opt-in box and I want to add this opt-in box right in the center so that it shows up right here in the center and to do that I am going to use three columns. I'm going to drag and drop these three columns right into this hero image. And I am going to go to advanced modules and look for subscribe form. And I'm going to drag and drop that into the center column. And I'm going to choose my service for this demo. I'm going to use Aweber. If you have not um, set up before when you choose a web or any service like for example if i choose active campaign it will ask me to fill in the url and the api keys and stuff like that you know if you use convert kit you will have also the api keys same thing with mailchimp so you might want to go ahead and set this up before but if you don't that's fine too as you can see you can copy and paste things right here you don't have to exit the page builder at all which is something that i absolutely love with Beaver. So I'm going to select a Weber. The nice thing about this also is I can actually connect multiple Aweber accounts or multiple MailChimp accounts. So that is nice. I don't think you would need it for one site. Usually one site will only have one account, but that is a very, very nice flexibility um, available to you in Beaver. Next thing I want to do is choose a list. That's it. And let's move this aside and look at the form. Okay, great. So the form is coming up nicely and I do want a stack layout. I can choose inline if I want to, but it's not going to work for this particular design right here in the center. The stack is just fine. Now, as you can see here, the button is white and the text is not showing. So we need to fix that. I'm going to click on button. And one thing I want to do is change out the subscribe text to download now. And I like icons in my buttons, especially download buttons. I want to choose an icon right there. I want to make it go after the text. Now I'm going to choose a background color for my button. Now I have already selected a color that uh, will go with this particular page and this is a nice thing too about Beaver. So for example, okay, let's say you have a brand color and your brand color is this color. Or let's go for something more cheery. Because these are brand colors, you're going to use it again over and over and over, right? So what you can do is you can just hit this little plus button here and it will add this color code to your preset. And now what you can do is you can just click that and click on the color code that you want to use so you don't have to remember your color codes every time. Right? So I'm going to delete that for now because that's not my color. So I've chosen a this color right here. Okay, that's going to be my button color and to hover I've also chosen a different color. I've chosen this color which is very light 
very small difference between the two but that just gives it a nice change and uh, let's see here I do want my button font to be much much larger because I like large buttons okay and that's fine maybe I'll change my my round corners to be less rounded okay that's fine so I'm happy with that as you can see there's an icon there I'm just gonna save it wonderful I have a beautiful hero image uh, with an opt-in form right there above the fold love it next thing I want to do is probably add some description here below you know to tell people what this resource is about I'm gonna do a new column or rather a new row right here at the bottom and drop that down here and in this row I'm just gonna put a text editor in there and I'm gonna copy and paste this introduction that has already been created for me copy that. paste that um, okay fine um, that's it that's all I need to do here after that if I take a look at this um, copy that was given to me there's bullet points and more reasons why people should download this resource so I do want to add some of that maybe not all there's five of them here so that makes it a you know odd number and for the design I have in mind it won't work so I'm going to choose the first four and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have icons with the reasons why people should subscribe so what I'm going to do is go ahead and add more content and go to right there oops before I do that I'm going to make two columns here at the bottom all right lovely. now I'll do an icon and I'll select an icon I want a check mark and I do not want to go through all this just to find my check mark so to do this very quickly I'll just do a search so even a partial search will pull up something for me I really really like maybe that one okay and I can see it come up right here and that's okay but I do want to change the color to my brand colors right there see how easy that preset is I just absolutely love that preset um, and I do want to make it larger so I'll make it 50% I'll keep the alignment left and okay wonderful Oops, I forgot one more thing. I need the text to that. So I'm going to scroll down here and copy this first bullet point. All right. And paste it right there. Okay. And save. Beautiful. So now, instead of having to rebuild this all over again, I'm just going to duplicate it three more times. And I am going to simply put two over here and two on the left and now I just simply go back here and copy that and swap it out see how easy that is I mean this is just so easy it's insane it should be legal but thankfully it's not so <laughs> I know I know I'm just being really silly okay and swap that last one out again you can of course choose the stronger bullet point to put in here or write your own um, I just want to do it very quickly to show you how fast this can be lovely so I have some nice little a uh, grid action going on here to create some interest very very nice um, but in looking at this I do want some kind of heading right here uh, to separate these two and also to lead into the checkpoints the bullet points so to do that I'll just simply add a heading now you can add a heading in between here that's fine too but I'm just gonna put it inside there and I'm gonna say what here here's I can't type so as you see here it's left aligned I want to change it to center align uh, h3 is just fine I'm gonna save it 
here. It's a lot more space in between these two, so I'm going to do just like what I did in the hero. I'm going to remove the spacing right there. There's still a lot, um, but I think it's fine. It's, it's sort of balanced, so I'm going to leave it as that and not pick on it too much. All right, two more things I want to do. I want to have a footer that goes all the way at the bottom for disclaimers and stuff like that. And then I want to have a final call to action. Actually, the call to action comes first before the final footer. Now I'm going to build the second call to action. Okay, so I'm going to start with yet another brand new row. There's a reason why I'm starting rows for each section, because in my mind, it gives a nice... Uh, division and also it's important here because I want a nice background color going across the span for the last call to action because I really want it to stand out and that's why I use a new row. I'm going to change this row and make it full width okay. and I'm going to make the background color and I am going to use my brand colors here once again. Okay. And since I have a darker brand color, I'm going to make sure that my text color inside here is white. And uh, that would work. I do want a heading here. So what I'm going to do is drag and drop a heading. And I'm going to just say claim your free access now. And I'm going to capitalize this. Whoops. Okay, so you see that right there is my heading, and I want it center aligned. Wonderful. Now I want to have another. Oops. Now I want to have another opt-in box right down here. I don't have to start over all again. Remember, when you creating an opt-in form, you will have to create the message. You know, you have to select the list all over again. Although these things only take a few seconds to configure but why why start over I don't want to because that just takes up precious seconds I'm just going to duplicate what I've already done up here and I am going to drag that and drop this with all the settings already in place right here and then I'm just going to make a few changes first of all I want this now instead of stacked this time I'll change it to the inline version because the inline works better in this format. Of course now because I have a darker background uh, my button needs to be changed too so I'm going to change the button background color I'm going to change it to a gray a background hover I will do black very subtle changes and that's it look at how beautiful this is love it love it love it okay and final thing we want to build is the footer with all the copyright and and all the um, disclaimers and all that goes and that's very very important because if you plan to advertise this you know, uh, Facebook or wherever Google they like they like to see all this stuff so once again I'm gonna change the background I'm going to make it full width because I want a nice background band color to it. I'll have the text color as white because it's going to be a dark background. And my background is going to be color. And this time I'm going to choose that dark gray as the background. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now my this background here is kind of large so let's see if we can bump it down. Let's see, the top and the bottom. Okay, save. Okay, lovely. So let's go ahead and do that and add a text editor. Now you can use other modules here, but I just simply like to use a text editor to keep things simple. I'm going to put copyright 2016, my company name. And then I'm going to put contact here in terms, privacy, disclaimer. All right. Now I don't have 
any of these set up I don't have on any of these pages set up on my on this particular demo site but you know if you're building this for real all you need to do is just copy um, double click the text and a link to a page any page usually usually your um, these contact forms and all and all that stuff are already pages so you know you just link them like that super super easy right look at how easy this is it's insane so you kind of get the idea now the next thing here is i want to center this and i do want to make the you see that the font size is a little too large so i'm going to make them smaller save wonderful so let's see if we can make the bottom smaller okay wonderful i like what i see and you know at this point your landing page your opt-in is ready to go now the only thing you probably have to do at this point is to upload your freebie your lead magnet um, to your site and link it up in your thank you or welcome email that's it you know but as far as the landing page goes this is done 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 and you are ready uh, my next video i'm going to show you how i'm going to create more landing pages so remember i told you i have like four different guides here that i i purchased and i want to get it up running real quickly uh, it's fine by me if i use uh, the same design because remember consistency is important so i'm going to show you in the next video how we're going to create another brand new landing page really fast using this template but before we can use this as a template, we need to do this. We need to go to Tools. We need to save template. And uh, you can give it a name, give it anything that you want. I normally like to prefix my things with a name of the site or name of the project. Okay. And that's it. Uh, save it. Okay. And we're ready to go. So now I'm simply going to publish this. And that's it this is my landing page ready and done to accept subscribers and ready for promotion